the reading and writing of academic texts can indeed be a pleasure. However, most often it is not. Why? What happened? This is the question we asked ourselves some time ago, and this is how this text was born, which was later published by Management Learning in 2018 under the title The Body in the Library. And the title is, of course, shared with the book by Agatha Christie featuring Miss Marple, a work of detective fiction. And this is not a coincidence. We were intrigued by the influence and inspiration of crime novels, crime stories on management, theory management thinking, which was pointed out by authors such as Barbara Czarniawska and Alexander Stira, among others. But there are also, of course, many ways in which crime fiction has influenced and has inspired management stories. But there's also one crucial difference in that while books by Agatha Christie continue to be read, continue to be filmed, continue to inspire readers, most of the texts from our discipline sink without a trace. And so we approached the issue a little bit differently. We decided that we will tell our own crime story and we set our stage. A body of an older woman is found in the public library, well-dressed, with blonde hair, and completely unknown to everyone on the premises. She appears to have been strangled. The police are called, but it is the general busybody and keen gardener, Miss Jane Marple, who quickly establishes the identity of the corpse. This is the body of knowledge. This is a little bit more than just a facetious pun. We do indeed find knowledge in so many centers of learning as a body, strangled, immobile, lifeless, well, dead. And for this reason, we in our text follow Miss Marple as she investigates and interrogates some of the most probable culprits. She turns to the thinkers who wrote extensively on knowledge. She investigates their ideas, their motives, their possible culpability. And, of course, at the end, she unmasks the murderer. We will not share with you the identity of the culprit. You will need to read the text in order to do so. But we do have also some more general conclusions, which, indeed, we will share. Well... All the suspects we asked Miss Marple to interrogate in our story wrote beautiful prose of deep and enduring relevance to management and organization studies, though none of them published specifically in that discipline. Their works continue to be read, cited and appreciated by readers of different academic and disciplinary status, different experience and different goals and passions. Where we so often fail in taking their lead, not just in ideas, but also in style, in engagement, in appreciating academic prose as a genre of writing rather than just a medium for displaying the dead body of knowledge. We believe that it is indeed important to write differently.
And this is what we invite you to do in our text. Thank you. Thank you.